Okay, um, question three. The mass of a substance is decreasing exponentially. Not a Kessler. Its mass m grams at time t years. Its mass is m grams. The following table shows certain values of t and m. Find the missing values in the table. You've got, you've got a choice of approaches. What you could say is that as t goes up by 5, um, what do we multiply 200 by to get this number? That's, that's probably the easiest way of thinking about it. So for every 5, what is it, years? Whoops. We've got, um, well, what is the multiplier there? It's 200. How do we work it out? 200 times something gives us 160. So we're thinking, we multiply by... <laughs> I did say 200, didn't I? So, so the, the multiplying factor that we're dealing with here is that amount, four-fifths. So that's for the next five years, 160 times four-fifths is... What, what are you laughing at? What were you looking at, Holly? Oh, book socket, it's in the room. It's on a video. <laughs> one two eight, and then one two eight times four fifths, or one hundred and sixty times four fifths squared, gives us a hundred and two. Oh, that's, it's, that's, that's not right, is it? That's, yeah, well, that's 2.4. So that is t equals 10. This is t equals 50. Oh, this is going to take forever. <coughs> I don't want to do it like this. So we're going to think, let's think a bit smarter about this. Um, so to get, to get the value at, at 10, or to get there, and, right, so <laughs> 25, that would be 200 times 4 fifths to the power of well, it's four fifths to give us five, four fifths squared to give us ten, four fifths cubed to give us five. Giving us, I'm using my Casio FX 83 GT Plus, it's an 85, sorry. Somebody left it here. 65.5. Um, it's actually 65.536. There we go. So in the mark scheme, you've got. Well, you've just got two marks for that. One for getting 128 and one for getting 65.5. However you did it, however you arrived at that, it was two marks just for doing that. Then, the part two of this is a little bit more complicated. Determine the value of t correct to the nearest integer for which the mass is 50 grams. In order to do that, we need to come up with some kind of an equation. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Um, it looks like here... We've, uh, we've established, haven't we? Um, well, actually, I'll do it the way that most of you did it. Most of you said we're going to set up our equation as an exponential growth equation, where we say that m is a e to the kt. This is what, what most people set this up as. When t is 0, m is 200. So that means 200 equals a. So we have a formula now that says that 200 is, no, m is 200 <coughs> e to the kt. We also know that when t is 5, m is 160. So that's 160 is 200 e to the 5k. So we can rearrange that to find the value of k. That is 0 0.8 is e to the 5k. Is that right? Yes. And 
ln 0.8 is 5k, so k is one fifth ln 0.8. And we wanted to know when is the mass 50 grams? If m equals 50, that means that 50 is 200 e to the kt. We need to solve that equation for t. We know what k is, it's a fifth of ln 0.8. So we're going to divide everything by 200. We're going to take logs of both sides. We're going to divide by k to get t on its own. t is 1 over k ln 0.25. That We've got K stored there as being 1 fifth and then 0 0.8. We're going to put that into the calculator. Should I do it in the calculator? This is a Here it is. We're doing. Um, a fraction ln 0.25 over 1 fifth of ln 0.8 and it gives us 31.06 and the question said, what did the question say? Determine the value of t correct to the nearest integer which the mass is 50 grams, so therefore t equals 31 to the nearest integer, 31 years. And that was it. Oh yeah, and that's maths. <laughs>